Hello everybody, Chris Sorcerer here, and um, today we are going to have an update video of how to make a bucket server. The last one there was many many problems with it, so I decided to remake it because I had a little bit extra time. So first what you want to do is you want to create a folder on your desktop with the name bucket. So excuse me, I'm slamming my fingers on the keyboard. Um, and then you want to go to the first link in the description. It should take you to the bucket wiki. First, you download recommend a build, save file, you open up your bucket folder, and then you wait for this to be done. Drag it in there. Right click it, right click it, rename bucket, and then close that. Oops. And then you can close this, and then you right click, you make a new text document, and name it run. And then you open it, and there will be, and there will be like a second link for this. Or well, it'll be it'll be in there, but you have to copy and paste this what's in the description. Then you have to rename. Well, I'll change that, but don't worry, I'll do this real fast. Okay, so it should say should should be like this, and pretty much if you don't if your Java isn't here, so like you know if you go to C drive, program files eighty six for me. And there's my Java, JRE7. And yeah. So, yeah, it could also be here. And all you really have to do, it could be in your just program files. All I have to do is delete the 86. So, yeah. And then all you have to do is, well, right here, 1024. Um, you might be able to change yours. Mine doesn't change for some reason. But, um, yeah. You may just keep that how it is. Close that, or well, cancel. You go to File, Save As, All Files, Run.bat, Enter. And then you may close it. Close that. And then you have this batch file. You may delete the text file. And you should have these two right here. So you open that, and it doesn't work. Hmm. Be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. And yeah, first what you want to do is you want to double click on your run, watch it load up. Don't worry if it has any fatal errors. Don't worry, that's the first time loading up. It should do that. It's coming up. Still working. Boom. And it, it's setting the spawn area, making a new world in order for you to play and once it is uh, just about finished um, you want to type stop in there and press enter and it will be stopping and once it says press any button to continue press enter and then what you want to do all these files should have been generated that's a good thing and you want to double click this or edit with notepad or just use whatever and this is all the server options like you know this is what the message of the day is like under what the server name is you know like Chris's mine minecraft server view distance um, you can change monsters off you can change the amount of players um, you can change the difficulty zero is peaceful one is easy, two is normal, three is hard. You can turn off PvP. Um, you can have a texture pack, and how that works is you get a link, a uh, download link to the texture pack, and it'll download it. Level seed, that's like a uh, seed. Server IP. So what we're going to be doing is showing you guys how to port forward again in this video. Um, first, what you want to do is you want to go to your Windows button, type in um, CMD. 
and press enter. And then you want to type in ipconfig and press enter. Then you want to scroll all the way up to the top. You want to look at this right here, default gateway. Yours should be like 192.168.0 or .1 or .2 or something, but it should be somewhere along that line. And what you have to do is you log in 192.1.1. Now, my Netgear has a password. Some people's could be admin and password, like mine is. And yeah, um, you know, you can't try hacking my router because you have to be connected to my internet connection for that. And to be connected to my internet connection, you have to. It, it, it. So if you are uh, on your router right now, you want to go to advanced, or like if you have what I have advanced. But you want to go on some, on some more of the lines of uh, port forwarding slash port triggering. And yeah, if you see, I already have two of them. Um, delete service. I just deleted that one so it'll show you guys. Okay. Service name. So what you want to do, add custom service or you want to add your own or something along the lines of making a new one for this and then you want to name it minecraft server and then the external ending and starting are the same 25565 25565 and for this right here this internal IP address you have to go back here and go to the IPv4 which is 192.168.1.3 for me yours should be somewhere along the lines of just like mine so all you have to do is enter the last one yeah and then you press apply and then you are done with the port forwarding and also you want to go here and for the server IP you type in this right here one the IPv4 address so you type that in and then you save this and you may close this close that okay and then what you want to do is click or first if you want to have your friends play on this server you go to what's my ip.org this is optional but you may do this use this code that's on top you copy it and that's what you give to your friends and then you may open the server run the server double click your batch file Open up Minecraft. Uh, sorry, I have to log in. Okay. I haven't played Minecraft in a while, but I noticed that the bucket video has not been updated in a long time okay so first you go to multiplayer and since you're the host you go to add server and then you type in the name of you want the server to be and then you you can paste this code that code or you can type in your IPv4 address which makes it faster with the port 25565 but uh, I'll just do this. See, look, now it's not working. Um, it's because you might have to have the port, so. If anything doesn't work, feel free to put it in the comments. Oopsies. Should be saved. bucket server
Oh yeah, if you're at your spawn, you might not be able to break blocks. Uh, sometimes when you get plugins, which I will start doing plugin reviews and stuff. But um, yeah, this was Chris Sorcerer, and I'm out. Peace.